us again. Yes, again. It did not stop us. We, 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 perseverance. Yes. <laughs> so the next night we started again. Yes. Did, did we make it all the way through? Yes. Yes. Okay. But it was so dark. It was. It was very dark. Okay. Uh, it came from below. Is uh, was filmed in the UK. And uh, well, we had to watch it with subtitles to understand a lot of what was being said. Uh, the sound it wasn't as bad as some movies. The sound wasn't the greatest. No, it wasn't as bad as some movies, but uh, the subtitles really helped. Let me uh, give you a rundown. Okay, uh, the film opens up with uh, Jesse and Sam's dad. I don't think we ever really got a name except dad. Yeah? Yes. He's in a cave. And he got a notebook. And the person he was spelunking with was dragged away. And he escaped. Yeah! Yes! Okay, uh, his notebook is filled with little drawings and, and hieroglyphs and everything. Yeah! Map? Time goes on. Uh, he, he's now in a hospital bed, and he's dying. Yeah. Tell her something, but he's really not speaking. Uh, I'm not sure how much time passes. Jesse is in uh, some sort of a, uh, a Zoom conference. I think it's uh, uh, grief counseling. They go out to a club, and they decide to follow their dad's notebook. Yes! And explore so that they can prove he's not crazy. So they can prove he's not crazy. Okay, here it turns out, Jesse and Sam's father believed that there were alien creatures in this cave. And that they Some were, kind of creatures? That it, was, it was brought up that they were probably aliens because there are rocket ship hieroglyphs and paintings inside of the cave. And oh. inside of the notebook. Okay. Okay, uh... <laughs> Their father believed that this alien creature was left behind and retreated to the safety of a cave. Okay. Okay. Uh, and he claimed it was real. He saw the creature. He has drawings of it in his notebook. And it dragged away the person who he was spelunking with. Yes. So. Doc. Yeah, I know. Yes. Doc. Hold Answer the, I'm answering Stop. the phone. Stop. Ring it. It's ringing. Never answer on time. Hello, is this Doc Dredd? Hello, this is Doc Dredd. I've got a trivia question for you and your patients. The 1966 film One Million Years B.C. starred Raquel Welch as a fisherwoman from which tribe? Good luck, and be sure and check out my YouTube channel, Mormozine, for the best in horror and food and whatever else I'm interested. That's Mormozine on YouTube. Okay, thank you, Mormo. I'll talk to you soon. That's a hard one. Can't he give us multiple choices or uh, something? Patience, have you seen that movie? Seen the movie, but can't he give us multiple choices or something? You know, multiple choices probably would have helped. Yeah. Uh, Wormo's going to call back a little later with the answer. Oh, I like him. Okay. Bucky. Uh, yes, Doctor. Sam and Jesse. Yes. Along with their two friends. Yes. Marty and Joanna. Yes. Take Dad's notebook and go hunting for the creature. Yes. Uh, and then, Bucky... Yes, Doctor. Yes, Doctor. Everything goes horribly wrong. Yes! Wow. And, and, and it goes wrong pretty quickly. Jesse, Jesse don't like Joanna. No, Jesse don't like Joanna. Joanna's a bit too frivolous. She's there to have fun. She's not there to conduct a serious investigation. 
Speaking of serious investigation, when you go spelunking, you should probably have more than a ball of yarn that you tie to something outside of the cave. You know what I mean? Yeah! Yes! Uh, the movie's very dark. And they didn't even bring enough food along. They, they didn't bring enough food. No, they didn't think ahead. They didn't think ahead. Uh, the movie's very dark. Uh, they did get their permit. They, they stopped at the ranger station and got, got their permits, and the rangers told them to uh, stay out of the caves. Yes. yes. And there were a lot of unanswered questions. Yes. Uh, like when they run into a group of cave-dwelling humans. Were they real? Were they hallucinations? Well, no, they tried to kill them. They, tr they tried to kill Why were they trying to kill the spelunkers? And why were they like, shh? Why were they, why yeah, were they why, why do they want them to be quiet? What was Shh, going on? We don't know. Uh, that was that was sort of a mess. Doc, you made me watch it three times, and I we still did, don't know. We watched it half a time, a full time, and just briefly to refresh our memories. Doc. It, it was... Uh, let's say something good about the film. The, the creature effects. The creature, the creature looked good. The, the costume. Uh, which was pra it was a practical, it was a man in a suit. The creature, the creature was good. It looked pretty good. And I can't really say the acting was terrible or anything. You it's can't just, say the acting was terrible, but... No, it was just uh, too many unanswered too questions. Too many unanswered questions. And it was a little bit too dark. And uh, not real easy to understand some of the dialogue. Well, if we were in England, we would understand it. If we, we were British... Oh, you know, speaking of caves... Doc. You, you, you haven't asked me any questions about the sub-basement. Well, because I'm scared, Doc. Okay. Doc. Yes. Doc, you didn't fill it in yet. I, I know you I didn't did fill it not, in. I did not fill in the sub-basement I know yet. you did. Because Last well, week, Mertz Doc. from Middle Earth called me, and he gave me, he chewed me out. He should. That didn't set right with me. I still have a mushroom crop down there I'm taking care of. Actually, Doc, there's not much mushrooms left. You know who ate most of them? Morty. Mort? Mort. Morty was over there what eating What is them. Mort doing in my sub-basement? He was visiting. I'm digressing. He was visiting. He ate most of them. I'm digressing. Yes, Doctor. Yes, Look, Doctor. Roll that film for my digress. Roll that film. Roll that film. Roll it. Roll it. Roll it. We are visiting room 10 to see an exhibit on courtesy. May I present Mrs. Anderson and her son Bill, who is in the class. They too have come to watch to see if the people actually display courtesy. Watch how Pete and Marion act as host and hostess. They know that courtesy means showing respect, thinking of the other person, real friendliness. When Pete mentions the neat job Bill did on the exhibit, Bill is pleased. That's courtesy at work. You can see, too, that everyone in the class must have done a great deal of thinking about courtesy and much work to prepare these posters and the rest of the exhibit. Real living courtesy has made the evening a pleasure and a success. That was fun. rate this movie. Doc, answer your phone. Oh, answer the phone. Answer the phone. Answer the phone. Yeah, he was eating that mushrooms. I told him not to. Hey, hey, Mormo. Hello, Doc. This is Mormo. The answer. I've got the answer to that trivia question. She was in the Shell Tribe. Bye-bye. Well, thank you very much, and uh, we'll, we'll recommend people check out your YouTube channel. Have a good night. Bye, Barbo. He's cool. He's cool. He's cool. I didn't get that. Okay. I didn't know. No, uh, I, I wasn't real familiar. I, I don't know if I Doc, you should know all that. I should know all that stuff. Okay. We need to rate this film. Yes, uh, sir. It came from below. It sure did. And it was... It should have stayed below. It should have. <laughs> it should have stayed off my radar. 
Oh. Ah. Yeah. Hey. I'm not going to put it down too much, but I really didn't enjoy it, and I will never watch it again. I ain't watched it. I watched it three times almost, but that's enough for me. If somebody wanted my opinion, I would say, skip this one. Watch a classic. I'm going to give it a very weak two skulls. Very weak. Just barely a two. Well done. Two out of four. Uh, two is meh mediocre. And it was below that. Right. Bucky? Ah. Yes? I hate to give it a low score, but I'm only going to give it a one. Bucky, I hate to give it a This is the first low. time you've ever given a film one skull. Oh, no. Okay. I hope they're not mad at me. Oh, uh, I'm not mad at you. Not you, the people who made the uh, movie. Uh, it's not to make that. I'm sure they've done other the stuff. The actors did good, That's, and the that, monster was good, and it was just boring, and just, I don't know what them people were doing. It just didn't all work. Uh, your friend, Dr. J, I want to congratulate all those who received a Rondo nomination. Yeah. Good there's job, lot, brothers and sisters. There's a lot of good ones there's a in lot there. Of good ones. There's a lot of talent. Uh, hey, patients, go vote. Go vote in the Rondos. Uh, Check out the ballot. Yes. You were nominated. Uh, I am honored to have been nominated for a Rondo. And, uh, you know, you don't have a chance at all. I don't have a chance because I am up against so many greats. Yes. That I'm not even going to vote for myself. Dog, it's nice. Okay, I'll vote for myself. Uh, hey, I patience. think it's because I likes me. <laughs> Your friend, Dr. Dredd, reminding you, as always, yes. keep it scary. Keep it scary. Keep it scary. Keep hey, it scary. Yes, Doc. Cut yes, that